Hi class, today we are doing fractions with a flying squirrel. And we are gonna learn about adding fractions. And once again, we go back to our units um, and think about what is the size of the hole. And since we have a flying squirrel today and a pug, we are thinking about what, what, oh, where'd it go? Here it is. What, how many units make up our hole here? How many acorns out of our whole unit? And since an acorn is about the size of a one unit, if I'm like our last video, we're looking at, okay, right here, this is seven eighths, okay? This would be eight eighths. So if I take one off, there are seven acorns or it's seven eighths of a whole unit. All right, and today we're gonna look at, okay, how can I add different things? Because what happens when we might not have that many? So here we have our oak, our oak leaf. Where is it? Here's our oak leaf falling off the tree from the winter. All right, so first of all, we started with four. Um, we didn't have enough to make a whole unit. We just had part of a unit, or four eighths is the same as half, as you can see right there. And then three more fell down from the tree. One, two, three. So then we had seven eighths, which was the size of this unit, like we were looking at before. All right, so you can see how we're putting these together. We're taking four eighths plus three eighths, which equals seven eighths. So as you're working, I want you to think about some other challenges. So I'm going to give you two challenges here. Four eighths plus three eighths. So that was the one we just did. Four eighths plus three eighths. And what does that equal? Pretty basic stuff here. So we're going to say seven eighths. We add, this is the whole unit and that is, that makes up the fraction of the whole unit. Now we're going to look at one half and three sixths. Hmm, look at how the denominators are different numbers, okay? And we talked about this, so this should just be a review. We're looking for a common denominator. All right, so now our whole is different. Our whole is not the eight bar because the eight bar is not a six. We're breaking ours in six. So we need a different bar here. We need our six bar. And so we're gonna take this green one over here and we're gonna say, oh, six. So now I'm going to say one half, which is right here. And our flying squirrel is helping out a little more here. One half plus three six. One, two, three out of six. And we could call those three acorns for our little flying squirrel friend. Three six. What do you notice about three six? and one half. One, two, three. They're the same, they're equivalent. So it's super important you think about when you're adding, if the denominator is different, we can say here, oh, one half is actually the same thing as three six. So what we're really saying is three six plus three six equals six six which equals one whole unit, which equals a really, really happy, where are you? A really happy flying squirrel. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.